Hello guys and welcome to the 13th Raspberry Pi tutorial. Um, I'm afraid it's going to be pretty short today because I've um, I've just had college work to do all day basically um, and I don't have the time tonight um, to do a full tutorial but it's still quite a useful tutorial because it turns our game into a game that you can actually play so the functionality that I've added is that the uh, the snake can eat the eat the food and get longer so as you can see every time I uh, move into like the Raspberry Pi logo the snake gets longer and you can still um, you can still press spacebar to make it longer as well but anyway let's let's get into the code um, so there's not there's not really that much that's changed to be honest um, as far as I know it's all in food class and there's a little bit in main and snake class as well but the majority is in food class and um, so the differences are um food class is going to get passed through snake now when it initial um, when it gets initialized um, and that's so it has a self dot snake so when we do our uh, random position um, we need to check that we're not colliding with the snake um, because obviously that would be unfair on the player if the random food position was on top of the snake and then ended their game um, so uh, we set a variable to know if the um, if it's collides with the snake and you set that to true um, so it oh, so the while always runs um, like the first time so what we do is it's the same code as before work out the ranges um, and then get a random y value and a random x value with those ranges um, and then after that you're going to set foo collision to false and then basically go through each part each snake part in the um, part in like the collection and then you're going to say if that snake part's rectangle collides with um, with the food rectangle then there's been a collision and then um, what that means is because food collision is true then that while loop is going to run again and basically that will keep running until um, this, the food has a position that hasn't been collided um, yeah that makes sense okay um, and then in update as well we've got um, we basically do that same code so you go through um, each snake part and then um, check if its rectangles collided with the uh, with the food rectangle, and then if it has, then um, there's been a collision. So we set self dot eaten to true, and then um, when self dot eaten is true, a new random position will get made. Um, we'll set self dot eaten back to false, so we don't keep moving around and making new random positions. And then we'll also extend the snake by one by setting snake dot extend into true. Uh, so actually there's not there's not anything in snake. Um it's all it's all in this. And then the only the only other thing that changes really is um if you look in, in the main when we make our food sprite you also pass in self dot snake. Um and yeah that I mean that that's about it but I mean it's a li it's only a little bit of code but I mean as as you can see it does it does turn the game into um into something that you can play um but yeah as as i say there's a there's still a few more few more things to go so we've got the snake colliding with itself um the snake hitting the sides um i'm hoping we can get some some sound in so i'm hoping that i can get hold of a raspberry pi before i finish these tutorials off um and that will allow me to um to get some sound in I mean but if not um I can always finish it off and come back to it but I'd rather rather try and not do that. Um but yeah and then we can add like a score counter. Um also I'll probably um try and change it from a green snake to something that looks a bit better. Um but yeah that's that's about it for this week. Um, cheers for watching, guys, and thanks for everyone who's um, keep subscribing. Um, 
But yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers. I'll see you next week.